the realm of depression treatments, the current standard revolves around what's known as the monoamine deficiency hypothesis. Essentially, this concept operates on the assumption that one out of three neurotransmitters in the brain is lacking or not functioning at full throttle. Think of neurotransmitters as the brain's messengers, carrying chemical signals from one brain cell to another. They're responsible for the seamless communication that keeps our cognitive machinery running. But here's the kicker. The brain doesn't just have a handful of these messengers. It boasts over a hundred neurotransmitters and billions of connections between neurons. So, you see, the monoamine deficiency hypothesis isn't the whole picture. For years, we believed that any glitch in these neurotransmitters, particularly serotonin or norepinephrine, lay at the heart of depression. However, these two neurotransmitters couldn't entirely explain the symptoms of major depression in certain individuals. Instead, our focus turned to other potential culprits, glutamate and GABA, chemical messengers in the higher brain regions that govern our moods and emotions. These might hold the key to unlocking the enigma of depression's symptoms. Notably, these two neurotransmitters, glutamate and GABA, are the brain's workhorses, steering its evolution and adaptations over time. When you're confronted with intense and prolonged stress, such as the type experienced during depression, you start losing some of the connections between nerve cells. Consequently, the communication within these mood-regulating circuits gets all tangled up, leading to inefficiency and a lot of static. The cacophonous communication within these circuits that control mood and emotions seems to contribute to the complex biology of depression, much like a dissonant symphony playing in the background. Now, understanding the nitty-gritty of depression's neurobiology is pivotal for two key reasons. First, it grants us insights into how the disorder takes shape and evolves, enabling us to tailor treatments more effectively. There's a stark contrast between the brain of someone experiencing depression and that of someone in a healthy mental state. The exciting bit is that successful depression treatment actually restores the brain to its healthy appearance. We're acutely aware that treating depression is a marathon, not a sprint. Since depression often lingers long term, we're in need of fresh treatment approaches. Particularly, we're aiming to find solutions for those who haven't seen success with previous treatments. What's fascinating is that we're in the midst of a new era in psychiatry. We're shifting away from a simplistic view of depression as a result of monoamine deficiency. Instead, we're embracing a more comprehensive perspective that recognizes the brain as a dynamic neurochemical marvel. So, as we journey forward, Remember that the brain's intricate dance with depression holds the key to unveiling the mysteries of this complex disorder. If you find this video beneficial, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.